In this video, we're going to look at Snell's Law, specifically total internal reflection. So, I give you a system consisting of a blue slab of material, index of refraction 1.5, it's surrounded by air, index of refraction 1. And I ask, what is the critical angle? So before we jump into the math, let's figure out first what is a critical angle. So, we know that when light starts off inside the denser region and refracts out, it will bend, right? And we can calculate how much it bends by using Snell's law and comparing the angle of the light to the perpendicular. Now, if we increase that angle, we notice that the pink ray that's leaving the material is getting closer and closer to the surface until finally, at some theta critical, it will run just along the surface. That is our critical angle. Now, if we go any bigger, it will bounce right back into the material. That's called total internal reflection. So what we want is that theta critical, where the light is just skimming along the surface. So I start off with Snell's law. N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. In this case, N1 is 1.5, and theta 1 is theta critical. N2 is equal to 1, and theta 2 is equal to 90 degrees. We know this because there's a 90 degree angle with respect to the perpendicular and the pink ray. Then doing a bit of rearranging, remember sine of 90 is just 1, so we get sine of theta critical is 1 over 1.5. We can take the arc sine of it and get 41.8 degrees. So total internal reflection only occurs when going from a material with a higher index of refraction to a material with a lower index of refraction. And if the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, the light wave bounces off the interface and gets reflected back into the original material. 